According to the latest Bloomberg News poll, talk about where Americans feel uh, things are going in the economy. Three out of four global investors, now these are global investors, believe a fiscal cliff deal will be reached before the January 1st deadline. White House correspondent Hans Nichols has the latest on our exclusive poll and what was accomplished at yesterday's meeting between President Obama and the CEO. So, Hans, it seems like investors are a bit more optimistic. They certainly are. They think that the investor class thinks that a crisis, a disaster will be averted. One of the more interesting things in this poll is that this investor class thinks that if the Bush tax cuts go up on the wealthy, or the Bush tax cuts rather go away, it will be good for the economy. Now, on all this optimism, we saw it reflected last night. Not sure what the reason for it is, but let's take a look at the actual numbers on whether or not the outcome of fiscal cliff negotiations. 76% think that there will be a short-term deal. 7% they think a long term deal and then no reach no deal little impact 7% again and then not a no deal which would cause a recession 6%. Now, after, as if there is a short-term deal, here's how investors think that markets react. Again, a short-term deal. Markets would rise 40%. Markets would decline 26%. No significant market reaction, 28%, about a quarter. That's interesting. But there's not a huge expectation, Betty, for a big deal. This is the so-called grand bargain. Uh, deficit reduction, 7% for a grand bargain. Moderate budget package, 50%. And then no significant de deficit reduction, 30 38%. Now, would letting the Bush era tax cuts expire for the wealthy help the economy? Again, this is investors. 51% said yes, 38, 35% said no, and 88% of those surveyed said that they think their taxes will go up. Now, on the meeting last night, yes, there was some optimism, in part because President Obama talked about entitlement reform. I caught up with Arnie Sorensen. He, of course, is the Marriott CEO who backed Mitt Romney in the presidential contest. He said that the president talked about spending cuts. He said he's open to entitlement reform, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, entitlement reform would be a piece of this. But I think he obviously wanted to make the point that revenue increases also need to be in, in line with this. And generally, I think uh, the reaction from, from me and others was that's fine as long as you're dealing with the spending side too, including entitlement reform. Where did his passion seem to be, taxes or entitlement reform? I think his passion is in getting something done. Betty, one important note about the meeting last night, the president did not assure the CEOs that he could guarantee a deal. He said he was interested in one, but he needs the political process to work for that. That's one of the reasons why he has Mitt Romney here at lunch today. He needs Republicans to cut a deal.